Hey guys, I'm the guitarist from Master Crow Fire, Stevie Ellis, and welcome to my personal page, which is Stevie Ellis, as you can probably tell. But um, yeah, this is my first ever vlog, so bear with me while I might be a bit up and over with things. But anyway, just a few. I just wanted to, like, to talk about my band and stuff, really, like my personal life and my band and stuff. At the minute, the band and, and everything is pretty much all I've got, so having to find things to do and jobs to apply for and everything's a little difficult but that's just what happens these days so yeah but, but anyway um, I'm the guitarist for a band called As The Crow Flies and we are from Burton upon Trent which is where I live currently and the other members of the band is Tommy Duncan who plays guitar Tom Murray on bass Matt Dixon the old guitarist from Dead Man's Conspiracy on vocals now, and Ben Archer, who came from, who's the drummer even, who came from Meridian. Um, yeah, uh, we are just starting up, and we've got five tracks now, which are the intro track, which is what we use for when we first, basically as an icebreaker live. Um, then we have Ghosts, Wasted Days. Unrepentant, and we wrote a new track last week called Lions Won't Lose Sleep, which is really fun to play. Uh, it's quite, it's faster than the other stuff we've written so far, and it, it's nuts essentially. And I really can't wait to play it. Um, on another note, um, we have a gig on the 27th of February at the Vic with Chasing Cadence for the Kill and Six Weeks Falling and that is going to be our first gig we ever play as a band together so it could either go really well or shockingly wrong so yeah anyway to my personal life which I don't normally talk about um, for those that know me or for those that know me well enough, you either hate me or you love me. It's just one of those things. You'll, I'm, to those that hate me, yeah, bye. To those that know me and like me and stuff, thank you so much for still being here for me. Because I've made a big shit tip of my own life, really. Like I said earlier on, I don't have a job, but I have my band, and that's pretty much it. And... On top of that, I because of no money, I can't afford to see my daughter, who's three years old, and that just breaks my heart, really. I've got all the time in the world to see her, but in the middle of winter, when it's cold and wet and everything like that, you need money to be able to take her to places, to be able to feed, for me to be able to feed her, to be able to buy and um, pull up nappies for her and, and drink and spare clothes if she's cold you know it's all these things that I can't afford to pay for in a minute I haven't even I'd like I've just gone back on job seekers allowance god forbid and I can't like I haven't even received my first payment from him yet and I'm still waiting for it and as soon as I start getting some money back well some money from him I will start seeing my daughter again because I'll be able to do stuff with that and it's not easy. I'm not even getting the time sometimes because obviously again it's winter, she gets poorly quite easily. She's still only a, a baby to me. To other people she like oh you're growing up fast to me, she's still my little girl and I love her to pieces and some people, like the majority of my Facebook friends, can see how much I love her and then there's people who don't. And to the people that don't see it, really, come on, like, I know me and my daughter's mother don't get on or anything, but use your eyes rather than your ears, don't believe what you hear, believe what you see, and yeah. Anyway, on a lighter note, <laughs> I'm 
sorry for breaking down really slightly there. Um, I'm trying to get my life sorted, I'm trying to get myself a job, I'm trying to get myself my own place and I'm sorting out my own driving lessons and stuff like that thanks to my family and my friends and little bits of money and stuff that they've given to me to try and help me. Like where I am now isn't really a home, it's just somewhere that is a roof over my head essentially. Like my mate's parents put me up and I can never, ever, ever, ever be any more grateful for how much they've helped me. Not just like putting a roof over my head, but like physically, mentally, just everything is phenomenal and especially not 2014 but 2013 when I became ill between September and probably about February time I became really ill I, I was having panic attacks every other hour or so and it felt like I was going to die I was asleep all the time and yeah that wasn't exactly easy to put up with and um, they helped me they kind of nurtured me back and um, some people gave me a kick up the arse basically saying come on you're fine to deal with it come on you can, you can do this and um, thank you to everybody that's helped me and i hope that one day i'll be able to return the favor whether it's i don't know Putting a smile on your face is pretty much all I ever achieve, want to achieve for people. Is, is if I can put a smile on someone's face every day, I'm happy. And there's always that one person that I will purposely put a smile on their face. And anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble on about my shit essentially I, I don't know if anybody would even watch this or anything I've done it just purely to get it out of my system and I thank anybody that watches it and likes it uh, thank you and hopefully I might be doing more of these peace <laughs>